How's it going everybody? Dotodoy here back with a pretty big update video for you all today regarding fighting games in the future of the genre as well as talking about some DLC updates for a ton of different fighting games including Dragon Ball Fighters even if that update might not be exactly what you were hoping to hear from the latest batch of reveals. First things first though if you aren't already aware what I'm talking about just recently there was an event known as the Japan Fighting Game Roundtable event. In this event a bunch of high level industry people got together from all sorts of different companies to discuss the past, present, and future of fighting games. Now to be completely honest, that discussion really only took up the first hour of the stream, while the second hour was mostly dedicated to pure announcements, trailers, uh, reveals, things like that for those games that they were discussing. And again, those announcements are mostly what we're going to be talking about because unfortunately during the pure discussion portion of the stream, a lot of people were hoping to hear them discuss things like uh, netcode in the future, are they going to be moving forward with more rollback solutions? And honestly, they for the most part danced around that question, they didn't really refer to that as much, instead choosing to talk about about how they choose characters for rosters and the use of arcade controllers. So nothing too interesting there. Now I do wanna say they did bring up the topic of crossplay, which was probably the most exciting thing uh, that I heard. Uh, the fact that they did discuss it in the past and will probably keep discussing it in the future. That's all very good stuff. Although I don't think we heard any big companies promise that they will get crossplay implemented in all of their future games for sure. So nothing concrete there either. Back to the announcement portion of the stream though, there was a lot to be excited for, but let's start off with Dragon Ball Fighters, which probably doesn't exactly fit the mold of being excited as instead of a trailer or an announcement of a character we got an announcement for an announcement stating that we will learn more about the next character reveal sometime in august honestly it's not too bad as we already technically are in august but this does leave it open to being very late august or sometime mid-august but honestly knowing fighters it most likely will be sometimes in uh you know august 20th around that range that's usually when they like to reveal uh, or release their characters sorry uh, the reveal could be probably any time between august 16th and above really though this just goes to show just how much the um, state of the world has probably thrown off their schedule because I think if the world was in a more normal state right now we would probably already be playing the character. Now let's discuss what that character is probably going to be. Earlier this month you probably noticed we put out a Roshi video uh, and in the comments of that Bandai went ahead and said hey you know we tweeted this out we didn't mean for it to be fighters. If you're asking me personally I still very do much believe that the next character will be Roshi or at the very least Roshi will be a part of the pass. But either way we will know for sure soon enough it has to be in the month of August now. We finally have our concrete window. So look forward to whenever that trailer drops and make sure to be following Bandai on Twitter because I do feel again, now that this event is gone, I am 100% certain we will not have a big event and a trailer reveal. It will most likely just be one day you'll wake up and boom, Bandai Namco YouTube, you got the trailer. And if you're over on Twitter, boom, they got a link to the trailer and a tweet, etc., etc. Uh, hold on there, Pastato. 100% might be a little too strong. So yeah, this is me editing in a little more audio later on because I cannot believe how big of an idiot I am. I just now realized that it's called Dragon Ball Fighters Show. I did not see the word show underneath there. So who knows? maybe the show indicates that this is going to be a bigger almost live stream sort of event where they show off the character we might even get to see some gameplay at the time maybe this could be more than just a trailer now i don't entirely know if dbfz show is just supposed to be like i don't know maybe they just mean like we're showing the character trailer i don't i have no idea but it could indicate to me at least that it might be more event focused so i wanted to just walk back those comments of i don't think we're going to get a big stream or event type of thing because uh now i think it could go either way all right now i'll let you guys get back to the video the only other way that this could happen now is maybe they go back to putting the character in v-jump but i do think with news coming this august it's much more likely to just happen right away rather than going through a magazine first but on the topic of arc system work games if you were watching this event guilty gear fans got treated to a very very good special with two new character trailers one of course being the return of leo white fang uh you might have mixed feelings on this one if you play the character you are probably astounded ecstatic this man is so hype uh for me uh you know i uh, can't block against this character so i'm a little more worried about it but another character i'm really excited they showed off is yugi they they finally showed off this character that was in the game that we knew was coming from the very reveal of guilty gear uh strive we didn't even know it was called strive then but we we finally got the character i actually put out a joke tweet about this guy a long time ago that he was just ghosting us because he did not show up anywhere but man it is so good to be a guilty gear fan right now cannot wait for strive to come out so we can finally get our hands on all these new characters but guilty gear fans definitely took a w uh 
uh, during this stream. Probably out of all of the games, Guilty Gear got it the best. So great stuff to Arxis. Let me know which of these two characters you are looking forward to the most down below in the comment section. But moving on to other big reveals that I'm genuinely excited for. Of course, Samurai Showdown got season three confirmed. I know it's more of a niche game. It's definitely not super popular these days, but to me, I'm still a big fan. I love playing Sam show. So really glad that we're going to get another season of characters that I can make even more videos with on this channel. So look forward to that uh, if you just enjoy watching the videos. But of course, if you play the game, look forward to it even more uh, because even more is on its way. Soul Calibur and Tekken are also receiving big updates. Tekken with season four being confirmed in Soul Calibur, getting a battle upgrade itself along with a new character. So all things are looking good there. Tekken, by the way, is also a standout in the fact that they did mention they want to improve the online experience. So they said some online changes were coming. They were a bit vague on what that actually meant, but for sure we know that you will now be able to tell Wi-Fi from wired in players. So if you're looking for the best connections possible, now on Tekken Online, it's going to be even easier than ever. So definitely stay tuned for that. I should also mention that Tekken did tease one of the characters that will be coming in season four, but to be completely honest, I have no idea who this is hinting towards. So down below in the comments again, let me know your best guess for this character. And that about brings us to the end of what we actually got to see during this event in regards to announcements. Now there probably is one more big game from SNK you were hoping to see here. <clears throat> King of Fighters 15, but they mentioned during the stream that they couldn't get anything ready to show for it, and their team is still hard at work, so I completely understand that. I would rather them take your time. I really make the next King of Fighters game something special, but I'm not gonna lie. I was a bit hurt. I was really looking forward to seeing something on that, but we will definitely see that in the future, so I'm still excited. Other than that, though, let me know down below in the comment section how you're reacting to all of this news. We already asked a couple questions uh, for the comment section before, but I know a lot of you like Dragon Ball Fighters and were probably disappointed, but hopefully that character can make up for it. Hopefully it's Master to Roshi. Uh, at this point, I'm I'm 100% convinced he's coming, but I could still be wrong, so we'll have to wait and see. Other than that, while you're down there, if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all things Dragon Ball Fighters and other fighting games, and check out some of the other videos that should be on your screen right now for more gameplay stuff. I have been Dr. Doya. Thanks again for watching this video all the way to the end, and I will see you in the next one.